Sharky Game here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a bit of a, a different controller for the PC. So this is more of a universal type thing we can use for gaming as well as your general computing or handheld kind of computing, stuff like that. Uh, it's called the Alpha Grip or the R Grip, um, either one. So it comes in this really plain box, and the reason it does that is because the company had spent all the money in designing the actual controller, and they didn't really have that much left over for packaging. So anyway, it's just a plain cardboard box. On the front it's got alphagrips.com, and it's got iGrip, handheld ergonomic computing and gaming. Let's go ahead and pop the box open, and I can show you the actual controller. this is a controller. I'll take a close look at that in a second. In the box you also get a stand, a USB cable, a little kind of document here, um, sticker thing. So you get a little bit of a, a quick start guide, basically telling you when you're plugging the, com the controller in. That's just a bit of general information and safety information and stuff like that. Um, out of the box sort of thing, just different type of things like that. Sort of introduction here, starting out um, by the creator of it, by the president of the company, and everything like that. So it's got a bit of everything here, you know, it's just saying a general kind of tips for how to look after the device. It also mentions here that um, w with like safety concerns about this kind of thing, how they don't necessarily saying it's more ergonomic, they're saying it's an alternative sort of thing than your normal keyboard and mouse. Because that's basically what this is. This is an alternative to a keyboard. Alright, so basically what they've done is they've taken a keyboard and a mouse and they've shoved all the keys on a keyboard and a mouse into this controller. And as you can see the result, it looks massively big with a heap of buttons on it. You can see it just it's just full of buttons. Everywhere you look it's got buttons on it. And the reason they kind of designed this, their thinking is that Normally when you use a keyboard and mouse, you have to be sitting at a desk or have the keyboard and mouse on some sort of surface. These guys have thought, okay, what happens if we just put it onto a controller? That way we don't have to have a desk to use it. We can just sit back in our chair or sit back in our lounge. If we have a computer hooked up to a big screen TV or something like that, we can just lean back on the couch and sort of use this device as a mouse and keyboard instead. That's where this is coming from. And that's also why the cable is so long. This cable is fairly long. It should be more than enough cable length to reach kind of any setup, even if you're in a lounge room. You should have quite a bit of length to come from this to a computer or a laptop or something like that. And it's also done this as well. Um, another thought as well, uh, other than your normal kind of setups like a lounge or laptop or whatever, you could also do this while you're exercising. So while you're exercising on a treadmill or an exercise bike or something, you have your computer in front of you on a desk or something, and you have this in your hand while you're on the exercise and you're using your keyboard and mouse as normal and maybe browsing the internet or doing something or typing a letter while you're actually exercising. So it's sort of a, a multi kind of purpose thing. Same type of thing what it's aimed for gaming, um, especially sort of aimed at like maybe RPG or online players where you know you can just sit back in your chair and play. You don't have to rest on your mouse and keyboard, you can just use this, you can still chat to your friends by typing and you can still move your mouse around and move your character around in the game. I wouldn't recommend it for first person shooters or any kind of fast paced game though because this is just not designed for that type of thing. Uh, you'd get killed in a matter of moments using this thing with those type of games. But RPGs, you know, your lower RPGs, online games, probably ideal for World of Warcraft people, stuff like that. Then this is the type of thing uh, that would help you basically sit back and play your game without the use of your actual mouse and keyboard. So you're wondering, if this is a mouse and keyboard, how does it work and how would there be so many buttons, how would you get used to it? Well it's actually not that hard. Now at first you may find um, it may take at least probably a week for you to get used to the keys, where they are and exactly how to use it. Because when you think about it, with a keyboard and mouse you always know where each key is, where it is because you're used to it so much. With this it's changed, everything's different. The good thing about this is how they've done it. 
So when you hold it like this, you've got a trackball here, and that's your mouse. You've got your left key, your left click, and your right click here. So those are your, basically your mouse function right there. You've also got a scroll wheel. So if you press shift here and press the, the right key there, so it's got a little little thing there, it's got in pink. You press that, then it'll turn it into a scroll wheel, which means if you put your track wheel down, your actual page that you're looking at will actually scroll down. And depending on how fast or how slow you move the trackball, it will depend on how fast it scrolls. And then to turn it off, you can either just click twice, you know, click once to turn it off, and then click again to click something, or you can press shift and that again to turn it off. So that's your mouse function. Now moving on to the rest of the function. So here you've got your normal keys, and you can see you've got pink letters there, and some of them green letters as well on top of the white letters. That's where your shift keys come and play. So to get the green letters, you press the green shift, and to get the red, you press the red shift. Same sort of thing on the other side, and you notice there's two shift keys on either side, and the reason for that is, say you want a key over here, you'd be pressing this shift and then pressing that key. If you want a key over here, you'd be pressing this shift and a key over here. So either way, you're covered, and you don't have to just, like, press this and then try and stretch over or anything. You can keep your hands in the one place. So you've got a whole lot of keys here. Uh, you've got enter, your backspace, your spacebar, tab, shift, the normal shift I mean for like capitals or uh, symbols or whatever like that. You've got your X and Z there. Same sort of thing. You've got your arrow keys here. You've got shift. You've got all the like L. You've got L, Y, C, K, V, J. You've got at symbol. And down here, of course, you have uh, your Windows key, escape, print screen, alt, control, num lock, fn lock, pause, caps lock, and delete. And of course, you've got lights here. Uh, indicating if you've got caps lock or you've got num lock or whatever you've got turned on. On the back of the controller, you have more keys again. So, and these keys are like double keys. You can see how uh, you press it this way and you can press it this way as well. And basically, these are the keys. So you've got symbols here, you've got your ampersand, you've got your semicolon, you've got full stop, you've got all your keys here. Um, you've also got numbers, so you're, you know, one, two, three, four, etc. Um, you've got brackets, you've got all the other keys over here. And there's also your USB connection here, as well as an extra USB port, so you can plug something else into the controller, as well as have this. So you plug this cable into there, and into your computer, and then you have an extra USB port there for something else. And the genius thing about this is when you're holding it like this, you're using the mouse, it's the, the trackball is a mouse, and you can access all these and access these as well with your thumbs. Um, when you turn, if I just turn my hand over, you can see my fingers align perfectly with the keys. See that? They just align absolutely perfect. So your fingers are in a natural position to reach each key, and these are very light buttons. So you don't need to put, so if you look here, the minimum of pressure will press that button in. So you don't need to have heavy fingers, you can just tap with your fingertips. And the very light, the lightest pressure will actually push the button down and start typing. So it's a very light kind of touch, very easy to type with, everything like that. Now the biggest thing of course, like I mentioned before, is getting used to where all the keys are. So even though it kind of fits your hand nicely, you still got to learn which finger is which key and when you have to press shift to get it. Now the front ones at least you can see, and now you're thinking, okay, the back ones I'd have to keep turning it over to look at to see. You don't have to, because it comes with these little stickers. As you can see, the stickers are basically reflect what's on the back of the controller, and they kind of show you. Be a bit if I turn it this way to turn it to show you, right? So the easiest way to find out what is on is to stick these down here in these little gaps here, to stick them on the handles. That way you don't have to turn over the controller. You can just ask, them, oh, you know, these on the handles, oh, that's the key I want, that's the thing I have to use. So right away you can tell exactly which key to use. And yeah, so you just put the stickers on whatever key, so which were G, so this is side is G, so you'd put that one this side and the other one that side. And that way you know exactly what keys are in the back of the controller. And by using this and just practicing, on and just typing basic words, kind of get used to, okay, where, where's A, where, where is N, you know, so that's P and that's A at the bottom there, you got your I here, D here, E here, just getting used to where everything is. Once you get used to it, then you can quite easily start typing and very easily hit all the letters and move the trackball. 
Now what I found with the trackball is when you first get it, it might be a bit slower, but as you start using it, it gets a lot faster, a lot freely. It spins a lot freely, so it makes it a lot easier to use the mouse. And I mean, the trackball, I feel, is quite good as well. It's really smooth. It allows you to go where you want, and like I say, once it goes a bit smooth and once you get used to it, you can quite navigate really easy with this thing. Same with games, you can sort of, you know, look around or whatever you need to use your mouse for whatever particular game you're using. You can also look around with it. It's just not really aimed at shooters, so I wouldn't even look at this for shooters. Um, it doesn't move quick enough for that. Um, but yeah, so once you get used to it, you can actually type. I mean, the creator of um, this controller on here, he says he types about 60 words, 60 to 90 words per minute or something like that um, after quite a few months of use. Um, I haven't really counted what words per minute I can get with this thing at all, but um, once I had started practicing, and I have been using it for the last couple of months just to get used to it sort of thing, um, I find it actually quite efficient. Um, yeah, it works quite well. I mean, I haven't really got any problems with it. It's just a matter of getting used to it and learning where the keys are. Once you are used to it, though, it works as it's supposed to. You can lean back in your chair. You don't have to use your normal keyboard or mouse. You lean back in your couch and type a letter, type an email, go on the internet, search, you know, type a search in. Same sort of thing. You can even go to a forum and start chatting or whatever you need to do. Um, so it's it's very um, versatile, and in game wise, you know you can just easily play the game as well. Works the exact same way. And I mean, if you're playing a particular game that the keys aren't where you're liking, you can't adjust the keys for the actual controller. But what you can do is go into the game and go to the game controls and adjust the controls for that particular game. So you know that that's another option. Um, but overall, I, I really like this thing. It, it's different. Um, it's not really meant to be a replacement for your keyboard and mouse, it's just an alternative. Um, another thing I did find is you need to hold it in the right way and also make sure you're holding it loosely, don't grip it too tight or anything like that because what you'll find is your hands here will get tied if you grip it too tight and of course you know that can cause problems with your hands or carpal tunnel or whatever things like that. So practice and find which way is comfortable for you. And another thing is I wouldn't recommend this for someone with really tiny hands. For me, I would say it's just all right. I don't have uh, really huge, I've got quite medium, sort of smallish kind of hands. It just kind of fits all right for me. But if you have really small hands, this will be really uncomfortable to use. If you have bigger hands, you might find it all right. But if you have bigger fingers, you might find some of the keys at the top here might be harder to press. Um, but overall, I mean, for the general kind of average kind of person and that, this should be fine. I mean, you could easily, quite easily type with it and then learn, because you're just using your fingertips, you're not using your whole finger to type. Um, but yeah, so overall, I really like the controller. It's really unusual. Um, really, like, just stay with it. If you, do go, if you do get one of these to try out and actually play around with, then just stay with it. I mean, if you don't know how to use it within the first day, don't worry about it, because it's not meant to be learnt in the first day. You need to use this for a, at least a week to start getting used to it. I'd recommend probably the first two to three months is when you really get into it. After that, you should be pretty much good to go. It again depends on how much you use it per day, uh, what you use it for. Do you mainly use it just for typing or using it for games or what you're using it for? And another good thing with this one is it does come with a stand here. So when you're done using it, you can just pop it in there and then sit on your desk and then that's ready to go for the next time. You can just pick it up and start using it and then put it down when you're done and it looks quite posh on your desk as well. Now the first thing I guess you would say is it does look a bit unusual but it's unusual because obviously they had to fit so many keys onto the actual controller. Um, now these guys are a smallish company they sell all their alpha grips or eye grips from their website I will put a link down in the description um, if you guys want to go check it out and maybe buy one for yourself to try out um, I would recommend it um, for kind of online gamers, I would say, or someone wanting to try something different than mouse and keyboard. Say you're tired of using the mouse and keyboard, you want to try something different, well then this would be something to try out. Um, and like I said, if you do get one, just stick with it because it is a learning curve with this thing. It is different. And just remember to be careful in the way you hold it, the way you use it, and how you use it because... I mean, they have not, as, as the instructions here and the thing here, it doesn't say the safety part of it. They say they haven't extensively t tested it with like how ergonomic it is for long-term use or repetitive use. Um, but overall, once you find a comfortable position, you should be fine with it. That's what I did. 
once I found my comfortable kind of position to hold it in, to where my arms lean or whatever like that, I was fine. Um, but yeah, so it's quite a cool little gadget, and you know, it's for PC, it's USB connectivity, um, it'll work with pretty much any computer, you just plug it in, your computer will automatically pick it up and install it, and away you go straight away, it takes like two minutes to do it. Um, so setup time is nothing, and just the learning curve is the one that's going to hold a lot of people back. But you know, I mean, if you're willing to try something different, then Maze would give it a good shot anyway. But anyway, like I said, if you want to purchase it, check out that link below in the description. Um, the guys are pretty good; they got excellent communication as well. So if you have any questions after you purchase one, or even before you purchase one, just send them over an email, and they will happy to answer any questions. They're very helpful and a very um, good group to actually deal with. And I'd like to thank uh, the Alpha Grip Company for supplying me with this one. Um, yeah, it's a very good controller and very interesting. And yeah, I'm glad I have one now in my collection. So thank you guys for that. And to everyone else, to my viewers, don't forget to subscribe. I'll have heaps more controller and accessory reviews up very shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sharky Gamer.